Um, okay, look who stopped by, Trevor Waterman. So he says, hello there. I was stopping by in search of a bit of inspiration. Perhaps we could ruminate some ideas together? Hi, this is Charity, and welcome back to the Lucid Legacy Challenge, a challenge in The Sims 4 by the Lucid Simmer. A link to the rules for the challenge will be in the description below, as well as a link to the challenge's creator, the Lucid Simmer. Now, I had May join the Pro Gamer career because she's in the Esports Gamer branch of the Tech Guru career, but I really want her to have a side hustle too. So I got a mod, and we can now have more than one job and it doesn't even matter if the schedules overlap but for this it actually doesn't overlap so i don't see why you can't have both jobs so we're also going to be a video game streamer and we'll leave it for the morning because i think that most of the time may's schedule is in the evening oh and it actually let us join at level three all right, and I did discover that you can make tips with the Pro Gamer streamer. The only thing is you have to read Sims chat. You can't just stream and get tips. I don't know why it's like that, but I've never seen a tip while I was streaming. I've only seen the tips while I'm reading the chat. Um, what is this? Armando, you're not even a vampire. Why are you creeping into my house? At least I didn't think he was a vampire. And you're destroying my dollhouse. And what are you doing? I guess he actually is a vampire. That is so strange. <laughs> Nobody's asleep though, so I guess he's not going to attack someone if they're not asleep. Well, I guess my front door does not keep people from coming in. I, th I don't think it would keep vampires from coming in anyway, but since no one was asleep, he didn't drink from anyone, and it's kind of weird. Now, supposedly the Starlight Accolades are, are going to be at Limelight at 6 p.m. Hopefully we don't run into Trevor. For those of you who haven't seen last episode, Trevor was our husband and the father of Adora, but May wiped his memory. So he no longer remembers us and he's no longer married to May. So here we are at Limelight, which is Trevor's place of work. So I don't know if he's here or not. Okay, for her latest digital adventure in a comedy or action period drama or other types of digital genre release, Mayhem Denson won the Starlight Accolade for the best video. If she accepts the award, you can find it in The Sims Household Inventory. Okay, well, we will cancel the watch and we will accept the award. I've never had a Sim actually win this. And May wasn't even trying to win it. Yes, thank you everyone. Thank you for your support. And now she's just going to watch the rest of the ceremony because I think that's the only thing that she was nominated for. Let's see if we can introduce ourselves to Thorne Bailey. Last time he didn't want to pay attention to us. No, he still doesn't want to talk to us. Don Guzman won a Starlight Accolade. He's finally got a higher level celebrity to pay attention to us and he's a global superstar. This little spot is not big enough for this, but oh well. Well, now that May got her award, I don't think she really needs to stay for the rest of the show, so she's going to slip out. Oh, May gained the techie lifestyle. All right, well, I guess that's the last thing that we needed to do for her. Well, we still need to actually get a level three celebrity, but we are so close. I think she should get it within the next couple of days. She just needs to do a few more things that gets her some fame. And now Adora can roll over to her tummy. So I only have time to do tummy time once and then we have to put her back to bed because it seems like she gets so tired so easily. Her energy bar is already half empty. And all I did was give her a bath and do one tummy time. And bills for this place are 3,000 simoleons. Oh, well, I guess it's not too bad. Considering where we live. And now Adora can laugh. 
Time to feed you, Adora. What? What do you mean you don't want to eat? Come on. You're hungry. No, don't talk with her. Feed her. May's decided she's going to wear the witch's outfit this time. She really likes dressing up for Halloween. Apparently, when May asks the butler to dismiss visitors, it doesn't include those annoying apartment event visitors that want to raid your fridge or just hang out. I guess we could just disallow neighbors, but it might be more fun just to ignore the front door. Now, right now, since Adora is an infant, we're not really doing too much. We're just streaming, making videos, and then when Adora wakes up, we interact with her a little bit. But since she's an infant, she just has to sleep all the time. So when she becomes a toddler, that'll be a lot more interaction that we can get with her and it'll be much more interesting. So right now we just need to build up our cash funds because we need to spend a lot of money on Adora. Hey, Butler, I did not say you could do that. All right, Adora, we're gonna practice sitting. So she already has grab and reach and also put her toe in her mouth. She's rolled over from front to back and back to front. So the next thing that she needs to do is sit up and then we can feed her in the high chair and she's going to get it on the very first try. That's nice. I really didn't want to practice sitting very often because it's just annoying. <laughs> and there she goes. She sat up. Now we can scoot around like a little bunny. And why are you holding her, May? She doesn't like being held. Okay, let's put her down. Let's see if Adora likes yogurt. Are you going to try it? You're only a little bit hungry, but maybe you want to try solid foods for once. No, she's unsure about yogurt. And it's time for bed already. Okay, we need to cross promote at a venue for our work from home assignment, which means we have to go somewhere and leave Adora here. Or maybe we can take her with us. Well, she needs to go to bed. Let's just put her to bed. And it's the Halloween video. So she cross promoted and she got 15 simoleons. Okay, what else can we do? Well, apparently Kyle Kyleson is a proper celebrity. Hey Kyle, would you like to be in my Halloween special? I'm a big fan. Oh, he actually said hi. Do you mind paparazzi? The flash, ugh, the flash is annoying. Okay, Adora got pincer grasps from playing with toys. All right, I thought you had to be in the high chair to get that one, but I guess not. Why are you picking her up, Butler? She didn't ask you to pick her up. Oh, you're helping her stand. All right. The only problem is there's nothing to stand up in, in here. Oh, there's a little bear chair. That might work. Now, maybe we can play with the walls up in here because this place is huge. Um, yeah, well, my poor computer, it broke. I have found a loophole. So if you have a squeamish sim and they don't like changing diapers, they'll get uncomfortable if you change a diaper with them. What you can do is actually give your infant or toddler a bath and that automatically changes the diaper but will not give your sim the uncomfortable moodlet as long as they don't get splashed or something like that because there are other uncomfortable moodlets they can get from the bathtub, but they don't have anything to do with changing a diaper. Okay, it says live stream unreleased game. I'm not sure what the unreleased game is, but sometimes it's Sims Infinite, sometimes it's Farming with Friends, and sometimes it's Crypt Keeper, but I think it has to be on this career menu. Okay, the infant can wake up the butler all the way across the house because okay i have this big large area now and i moved the butler's room over here close to the door because that makes more sense so we have a laundry room the butler's room and a a guest bathroom over here and then i put the kitchen across this wall for now and then we have the kids room and may's area over here so my plan is eventually to make this whole area a Dora space across this wall here. And we'll figure out where we're gonna put May's room, probably somewhere over by the pool. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, 
and then we'll probably have some central area for entertainment. But I just don't have the simoleons right now in order to get everything done. Now we'll try some applesauce. Adora, do you like the applesauce? Oh no, she doesn't like it. Stop giving her the applesauce. <laughs> she's not going to like it. What about mango? No, she's unsure. She doesn't like anything. She's either unsure or doesn't like it. Next is avocado. Oh, she doesn't like avocado. Okay, come on. You are too picky. Yeah, I know you need to go to bed next. We're going to try one more food. Hopefully you like papaya. No, she's unsure about papaya. Well, great. All right, forget it. It's almost Adora's birthday already. So what I've been trying to do is have the butler change the diaper, may feed her, and also may puts her to bed and plays with her. So I'm trying to do everything for Adora that I can with May, except for change the diaper because she is a squeamish sim. No, don't lie down. Let me pick you up. Oh, she likes peas. Finally, we have one thing that she likes to eat. Um, okay, look who stopped by. Trevor Waterman. So he says, hello there. I was stopping by in search of a bit of inspiration. Perhaps we could ruminate some ideas together? Okay, I guess we can brainstorm. I've never done this particular invite interaction, but he came over for a reason. Okay, for some reason, he's making some grilled cheese. Not sure why. He's just making a bunch of food. And I really don't know why he's doing that. And May is now a three-star celebrity. So we've completed all of her goals. And it's Adora's birthday today. So we have a party planned and I actually downloaded a mod that allows me to invite the entire family over. Birthday party is about to begin. Okay, let's see how many people show up. Supposedly, they're all supposed to be able to get here, but we'll see. I don't see any sign of my caterer, but we do have a lot of people here, including some of the toddlers that showed up, and one of them is getting a bath? That's interesting. Oh, there's my caterer. Good. As long as I have one cake, I can age her up. Oh, Trevor just walked up and started talking to us. Okay, uh, I guess we know Trevor now. Okay, I don't see any sign of a cake yet. Okay, we have toddlers at this party, children at this party, and adults. I don't see any infants. I'm not sure if I had any to invite, though. I think they were just toddlers. Well, I don't see any sign of a cake yet, so I'm going to make a hamburger cake and hopefully no one eats it before I can get candles on it. Happy birthday, Adora! And I guess we'll continue with uh, something like Fussy. She actually did get a thinking skill of one, but nothing else. Oh, and Adora is so cute in that outfit. And, of course, they put the candles on it. No, we don't need candles anymore. It seems like Adora can only open birthday presents from people she knows. Which is fine. And, of course, she's also tired. Oh, she got a jar of marbles. She doesn't need a jar of marbles. She's not a child yet. So, Adora is now a toddler. And we did her makeover. She's actually pretty cute. But you can't really see most of her outfits right now since she's wearing her nighttime outfit. So we're just going to let her do whatever she wants. And we'll take care of her, but we have to take care of her by checking on her. Because if you tell the toddler to do something, you will get a strict relationship. And I definitely don't want May to have a strict relationship with Adora. That just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So I'm pretty much going to leave her up to her own devices. I mean, it doesn't really matter if she gets all of her toddler skills or if she ever learns how to use the potty. She will when she becomes a child. 
Okay, so Trevor is calling and saying, hey, Mayhem, I think Sarah Bowling is pretty cute. Should I ask her out? Um, I think she's going to say you should think about it yourself. Um, she might say, I don't think it's a good idea, but I think that that would be too meddling for May. She really doesn't want Trevor going out with someone else, but yeah, she's not going to give him any advice on this. Hi, Adora. Do you need anything? Okay, you want to play? Let's play. Oh, she's aggressive. Oh, now she wants a bath. Okay, that's good. Because you are stinky. And I don't know what my butler's obsession is with bathtubs, but I had to lock her out of my bathroom area with the bathtub because she constantly goes and gets in it. And I don't think she's stinky. She just wants to take a bath. So I gave her the other bathtub and now she's taking a bath in there, but I still have to lock her out of this one because my bathtub is better. I wish that I could have a, an assignment for bathtubs that says, okay, you're allowed to come in to clean the bath. You're allowed to come in to fix it, but you cannot take a bath in my bathtub. Oh, she needs to go to bed now. Yeah, it's 1125. You should go to bed. Oh no, Trevor says you won't believe it. Sarah Bowling is such a sweetheart. I'm in love. Oh, that's not good. What should we do about that? So it's time for Adora's bedtime, even though it's 11 p.m. on a Saturday. We've basically finished this week, and since Adora is going to bed, May can work on her video streaming for a little while. And then we need to decide what to do with Trevor. So Trevor is seeing someone else, and that bothers May a little bit. She realizes that maybe she was too harsh, but what do you think in the comments? Do you think that May would try to get back together with him? Because she has to explain to him what happened and basically hope that Trevor will forgive her for wiping his memory and hope that Trevor will actually get along with Adora. And even though he hates children, he should like his own child. So I've noticed that about The Sims, that even if a parent has the hates children trait, they will get tense around their own kids, but they really won't be mean to their own children autonomously. It, you have to make them be mean. So I think it will be okay, even though he has that trait. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments. And if you made it this far, please be sure to vote in the community board. If you go to the community section on YouTube, there is a vote for the next episodes. And basically that determines how many episodes I do of each series. So if you like this one, be sure to vote for it. And this is Charity. Thanks for watching.